नमस्ते योगी आई एम योगी विपिन सिंह फर्सवान एंड ऑन द बिहाफ ऑफ हिमालयन योगा एसोसिएशन एज अ टीचर हेयर आई एम वेलकमिंग ऑल इन दिस ऑनलाइन टीचर ट्रेनिंग कोर्स आई एम योर विनयासा टीचर एंड आई एम विशिंग यू ऑल द वेरी बेस्ट फॉर द कोर्स नमस्ते Take your time slowly back to downward facing dog. Nice and slowly. Now we'll start with the right side with the left leg. Eight hold lift your right leg up. For one leg down facing dog. Axe is step the right leg forward. Slowly by taking a fingertip support keep lengthening the spine look forward. Or as you can see you can lift your heels up. On the left leg, slowly shift your weight forward. Lift your left leg off to the mat. Keep your right leg bent. Now slowly, by finding a balance, you can make a namaste in between your heart center. We are moving to one leg balance posture. Now you see over here, or you can open your hand by the side. So those who are beginner here, they can use a block. Nice and slowly take your time. So, in case if you are finding difficulty to find a balance, I would prefer you to do focus on your breathing. Breathe in and breathe out. Now slowly back to half moon pose. Open hands towards the left side. You can look up towards the ceiling. or in case again if you are feeling difficult here you can stay with the block or you can remove the block up to you. look forward nice and slowly take your time take a breath keep lengthening your spine breathe in breathe out now slowly back to warrior c square your hip turn your back leg and make a namaste here Now slowly inhale, lift the spine up. Send the left leg forward, bend your knee. Now you can grab your big toe and place your right hand on the waist. Slowly extend your leg forward. So take your time here. So in case if you have tight hamstring or you are not reaching towards the toes, you can use a strap. So I'm showing you how you can use a strap. So you have to place a strap underneath your mid foot not over the heels. So here. So same concept. You can place your hands on your waist by taking your time slowly with a breathing lengthening your leg and hold here. Breathe in and breathe out. Stay strong. Or in case while using the strap you are feeling uncomfortable you can take a support of the wall so let's move on as you inhale and hold here and make sure your shoulder should be in one line not too much forward with the left shoulder shoulder should be aligned and hold here for 3 2 1 slowly release your hand the place your left hand on the waist and hold here stay strong nice and slowly the slowly we are moving to one leg chair pose by placing your heel over your right knee to find your balance drop your hip down and now make a namaste in between your heart center hold here take your time three two One inhale back to the center as you exhale release your leg slowly shift your weight forward at the same time stretch your left leg back for warrior C now as you exhale drop your hands down drop the left leg back by bending your right knee to chaturanga dandasana inhale for udmukha and exhale go back to adho mukha. Now we are using the same sequence to the left side. So inhale, lift your left leg up. 
Exhale, step your left leg forward in between your both hands. Slowly, by taking your fingertips support, keep lengthening the spine, look forward. Take your time, prepare yourself. As you inhale, shift your weight forward. Slowly lift your back leg off to the mat. Take your time here. As I told you, you can use a block here as a modification. So now slowly place your hands on the block and extend your arm and hold here for more see. If you are feeling good here, you can make a nasty in between your heart center and hold here for three, two, one. Slowly move to half moon pose, open the leg, open the heart, slowly twist your spine and hold here. Breathe in and breathe out nice and slowly. Three, two, keep lengthening your spine and one. Now exhale, moving back to down with warrior C. And slowly come up. Place your left hand on the waist, grab your big toe with the middle finger of your right and press with the thumb, extend your leg forward and hold here. Nice and slowly, take your time. Maintain your shoulders aligned. Add the slowly move to one leg chair pose. Drop your hip down and hold here. Nice and slowly. Three, two, one. Slowly come up. As you exhale, sit forward. Exhale, place your right leg back. Take your time. Slowly drop your hands down. Step your right leg back on the mat. By taking your time, place your mat, place your hands on the mat, and slowly go back to Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale up for Udha Mukha, and exhale, go back to Udha Mukha. Nice and slowly, take your time, breathe in and breathe out. So after done with the both legs, slowly lift your heels off the mat. Now we are resting in child pose. Slowly drop your knees down and exhale, relax. Take a time, take a breath. If you are feeling too much pressure on your wrist, gently move your wrist, shake your hands. If you are feeling too much pressure on your shoulders, shake your shoulders here. Nice and slow. Go with the breathing. Keep breathing at the same time. Prepare yourself for arm balancing. Slowly back to downward facing dog. Today we are going to work on Vakasana. Slowly shift your weight forward for Santulan Asana plank pose and now slowly drop your Elbows down for Chaturanga. Inhale for Urdhukha and exhale. Go back to other one. Let's do one more round. Slowly shift your weight forward for Santulanasana plank pose and exhale by bending your elbow. Find your Chaturanga. Inhale up for Urdhukha and exhale. Go back to other one. Take your time, take your breathing here. Slowly drop your knees on the mat. Now we are moving to Kakasana, not Bakasana. So first we'll try to cover up Kakasana and in our next session we'll work on Bakasana. So let's start. 
So first I'm showing the modification for those who are beginner here. So you can use a block and for safety you can use a pillow or something else or blanket to, to protect your head from falling down. So what you have to do is so place your toes over the block and by placing your hand on the mat but one make sure you have to focus on your hands here so make sure your shoulders and your wrist should be aligned close not too close not too out this should be in aligned with your shoulders like this not here and not too in so make sure your shoulders and your wrist should be aligned so let's move forward and as I told you, this is a Kakasana crow pose. So you have to place your knees over the elbow, not on the armpit. So let's start. So now gently place your hands down by bending your elbow. First, shift your weight forward. So don't shift your weight too much forward. If you go for too much forward, you will fall down or you can hurt yourself here. So you have to maintain your body aligned on the center of gravity. So let's start. So by placing your knees over the elbow, you can lift your heels off to the block. And now first, instead of making a curve on your spine, try to maintain your spine straight. Shift your chest forward. And now step by step, lift your right foot Take a time, breathe in, three, two, one. Then slowly try to manage by lifting your left leg up. You can tap your block by lifting your left foot nice and slowly. Take your time and hold here. As I told you, you have to maintain your spine straight. Hold here for three, two, one. And exhale, relax. So let's release the tension from the wrist. So we'll do two more rounds here. So as it is, as I told you, according to the level, you can remove the block or you can use the pillow. Now prepare yourself for next round. Place your hands down. Come over the block by bending your elbow. Shift your weight forward, spine straight. Now slowly by lifting your one leg up, take your time, breathe, breathe, you focus on your breathing and slowly lift your leg off to the block and hold here. Stay strong, three, breathe in, two, and one, slowly drop back and relax. Again, shake your hands, shake your wrist, release the tension from your wrist. So let's do one more round. Now find a position. Place your toes over the block by bending your elbow, shift your weight forward, and slowly, step by step, lift your feet off to the block and hold here. Breathe in, breathe out. Point your toes out. Three, two, keep smiling, and one. Now exhale slowly, drop. Now release, shake your hands, take your time. Let's move further. Now you can remove your blocks and your pillow. Now we meet in downward facing dog. Let's do half vinyasa, chaturanga dandasana. Inhale up for old mukha. And exhale, go back to other mukha. Lift your heels off to the mat, slowly drop your knees down and relax inside. Take your time, breathe in, breathe down.